Hey guys, Patrice here with another video. I am going to do my top blends or scents from 2020. Um, I know some of these scents have been out for a long time. I just got into Bender Wax really at the end of 2019, start of 2020. So these are just the ones that I've personally discovered this year, whether they're new blends, single scents, um, returning favorites that I bought for the first time, anything. <clears throat> Sorry, um, like I try to stick around two to three for most vendors, obviously, um, there's one vendor that I kind of pick quite a bit more, um, but yeah, so we'll get right into it so it's not an hour long video. This is from Scentsy, this is Bright Cider Life, this was part of a three pack from the Harvest Collection, this one is phenomenal, um, it smell you can smell the cider you can smell the caramel it's just a very uplifting it's not heavy at all it's as it says bright cider it's fantastic got it in my scentsy club and then this one is almond croissant this was new from scentsy uh this fall it's exactly what smells you can smell the pastry you can smell the uh not really butter but just the almond and it. it's just it's fantastic and it's sticking around and i'm happy about it um I will repurchase this one. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way. So these are from Ebony Violet. This is Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds type. Vanilla with cream, marshmallow, magnolia blossom, and warm sandalwood. Uh, this is all the rage this year. Uh, this is a very beautiful, girly bedroom, bathroom scent. Um, I love this. I have a loaf coming of this. I buy all the blends of this, and there's another one I'm gonna show you from her. I do the same. This is fantastic. And this is the other one, Bum Bum Cream Type, which is all the rage this year too. Salted Caramel, Pistachio, Jasmine Petals, and Vanilla. This one throws like a beast. It is my favorite bedroom scent this year so far. Well, not so far. It was my favorite bedroom scent in 2020. Probably will be my favorite bedroom scent in 2021 as long as I don't get sick of it. So this one's fantastic. I'll continue. And I just did a pre-order through her and bought, I think, like three different blends with it so and the last one from ebony violet is days and confused strawberry pound cake type and pumpkin pecan waffles type um i didn't pick this one up when i first seen it i was just like oh strawberry and pumpkin but i love strawberry pound cake type i love pumpkin pecan waffles type so i said let's just try it and it is fantastic i don't know why it works but it does work and i will continue to repurchase that one so the two I have from Country Market Crafts is Funnel Cake Donuts, which is fluffy fried pastry, rich, sweet vanilla, and loads of confectionery sugar. Totally scrumptious. This is my favorite scent from her by far. This is probably one of my top for 2020. This one is exactly what it says. It just smells like a donut, a fried donut, and I love it. I don't like lots of spices with my bakery scents. Um... So it smells like you just took a fried donut out of the grease, which my mom bakes donuts, so it kind of throws me back to childhood, so maybe that's why. The other one I have from Country Market Crafts is Snicker Snickerdoodle Cookies, which is fresh from the oven Snickerdoodles, caramelized creamy maple notes with rich sweet butter, followed by scrumptious French vanilla, cinnamon, and sh sweet sugar crystals. I love this one too. It smells like a sugar cookie. Snickerdoodle cookie. It, It's great. Uh, her shapes in this one are sweet. Um, I would repurchase this one. It's just a very nice cookie scent. Okay. The only one I have from Makes Sense Candle Shop is Mom's Favorites. Baked apple pie, zucchini bread, and blueberry cheesecake. Um, she closed her shop in March for COVID. She just reopened, so I didn't really buy a lot in 2020 from her. But this one's great. I normally don't like blueberry, but her blueberry is very real. And mixed with that apple and zucchini, it is fantastic. And I would buy this one in larger quantities. Okay, I got three from Rose Girls. As you can see, I rebagged this one. The bag got a rip in it. This is strawberry shortcake donut holes. I know you can buy... These are mini melters and mix them, but this was a sample, a heart sample that she sent me in one of my orders. This is so good. It's so authentic. It really smells like you have a strawberry shortcake and donuts. Um, 
I haven't even wanted to melt this because I'm hoarding this, but I got to get to melting it, and yeah, it's great. Next one I got sent, which is Cider Delight. I know this isn't a fan favorite from the fall. Um, she wasn't sending to Canada at the time when this was available, so I never got to order any, but this is fantastic. I love cider scents, as you're going to see, um, and I would 100% repurchase this next fall if she is still open to ship to Canada. And the last one is the Star of Wonder, Star of Night from Rose Girls, which is Strawberry Euphoria and Serendipity. I got this as a sample in one of my orders, fell in love, ordered the pie sampler, got a pie slice, and hoarding it. I should have ordered more in the last pre-order, but uh, it just didn't work out that way. Um, this is a fantastic, I love Serendipity, love strawberry scents. Um, I would 100% get this in a loaf. And so, okay. The only one I had from Rainbow Mounts, I've never actually placed an order, I got this from a friend, um, is Wicked Bliss, Zucchini, Pumpkin Pecan Waffle, Sugar Cookie, and Butter Brickle. This one is fantastic. I love Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I know people think that it's overdone, but with me just getting into Vendor Wax this year, to me it's not overdone, so I can melt anything. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, love that one. Okay, a single scent I have from Mandala Melts is Leaky Cauldron. As you guys would probably know, um, I love Mandala Melt scents. It just doesn't perform in my house, but I, I'm holding out hope if I order again, I melt it right away, it performs. She has the best ginger ale scent. This is Mac Apple Ginger Ale. You can smell the coldness. You can smell the fizz. You can smell everything. Um, I have several of her ginger ale scents that I'm hoarding, and I just, this has got to be one of my favorites, so... Any of them could have been up here, though. Her ginger ale is fantastic. I got two from Closet Full of Wax. Danish Butter Cookie Blackberry. This was part of the little sampler. Um, somebody made this as a custom. This one is so good. I didn't realize how much I love Blackberry until I got this scent. And I love it. I would 100% repurchase this, So, And the other one I have from... A closet full wax is Andy, which is cotton candy ice cream, frosted sugar cookies with whipped cream. Um, this one's so good. Um, the only thing I will say is um, I don't like the amount of glitter she uses in her snap bars. Very beautiful. Very beautiful, but very hard to clean. So, but I would 100% repurchase that one too. Okay, the one I have from... Cozy Home Candle Melts was Pumpkin Peanut Brittle. I know this is a Bath and Body Works candle, but this is my first time smelling it, and I honestly was just like, okay, peanut and pumpkin, no way. This is so good. This is sweet, crunchy caramel with loads of salted peanuts and toasted pumpkin seeds. This is so good. This is one of my top for the year. I haven't even melted it. Normally, her stuff, I get it, melt it right away. Um, no. I'm hoarding this. I should have bought more. So hopefully she'll bring this back next year. Okay, I got one from the Scented Squirrel. Uh, I had one uh, a sampler, a pumpkin sampler from her. So this is one of my winnings. This is Halloween Brew Pumpkin Cranberry Cider, Mac Apple and Fizzy Soda. This is so good. You can smell the fizz. I love fizzy scents. I just love the smell of effervescence. It's it's fantastic. I had n actually never purchased from her. I did have a purchase. It is stuck somewhere between the U.S. and Canada. So hopefully when it comes in, I'll do that haul with you guys. But this one's fantastic, and I love it. Okay, I got three from VCS. So I had this sent to me, Sweeney's Barbershop, Fresh Strawberries and Minty Shaving Cream. Um, I love this. I don't like mint scents, but... This is fantastic. I have been waiting to see this come out so I could order more of this. Um, her shaving cream and mint, or like I have another one, I think it's mint mojito and fresh strawberries and shaving cream and stuff. It is so good. I will 100% repurchase some of these scents and I just grabbed that one because that one's one of my favorites. So um, This is like a prayer from VCS, coconut, vanilla lace, seashells, and henna amber bonfire. Um, I had got sent a sample, or not sample, I got sent a piece of this, fell in love with it, um, had to place another order, like, this is what made me place my order through 
Fenty Chic scent was this one. This one is so good. It's just a very nice coconut beachy vibe with a hint of romance. I love this. I don't know why I'm hoarding it. I haven't melted any of this, but I will get to it this summer. It's so good. The last one from BCS is Be Careful What You Wish For. Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Zucchini Bread, and Fish Picked Strawberries. Oh, I got sent this, and this is amazing. Amazing. I love Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies. Um, I don't want to get overdone with it, and I love Zucchini Bread and Strawberries. As you guys can see, there's kind of a theme. Cider, Blackberry, Strawberry, Zucchini Bread. Like, they're just my top scents right now, and this one's another one that's good. So, the last I have is Ella After. You guys will know that she's my top vendor. She's from Canada. Her shipping's reasonable. Her stuff performs phenomenal in my house. So, I had to pick, I picked Clean Narrow Down. So, this is a White Rabbit. This is Rice Krispies, Marshmallow Fluff, and White Clouds. I had got a scent shot in this. Didn't think it was anything special. Didn't melt it. I had, no, I got two of them. So, I melt, and then I, one day I melted one. It is amazing. Fell in love with it. No more on the website. So I've been hoarding this one. I just put a pre-order in for two of our mini pots in those. So this, oh, sorry guys. This was a ice cream cone I cut up. So this is Wednesdays we wear pink, strawberry pound cake, summer scoop, and waffle cone. I love summer scoop. I love strawberry pound cake. This is a fucking, or a friggin' fantastic blend and uh, I would continue to repurchase this this is 29 and holding strawberry serendipity and birthday cake new love of mine I have three bags of this hoarding it for some reason gotta get to melting it love it love it love it um, probably one of my top blends of the year sorry guys if I'm going kind of fast through hers Mina, Cider Lane and Whipped Cream. Um, she has another one. It's Real Horror Film Show. And it is Cider Lane and French Baguette. Um, but I went with this one. This one's just a little bit more creamier and less doughy. Um, I love this. I love Cider Lane. 100% of repurchase. This one was from her um, Advent. Captain Crunch Berries and Raspberry Jam on Acid. Which is her Fruit Fly on Acid. Which is every vanilla bakery. I have not got sick of um, cereal scents yet. I ha don't have very many of Captain Crunch berries. I just repurchased two more pies of this one in her pre-order. Love this one, and it's so cute. I got four more guys. This is Mayo Crumpet, and this is Peppermint Six Marshmallow sh Vanilla Shortbread. Um, again, you guys know me. Don't like mint. Um, but this one with the bakery, it is fantastic. I bought two of the pies of these. Um, I will continue to repurchase this. If I'm going to do mint, I'm going to do bakery. And this one is one of the best ones I've smelled. This is Alice, which is Gingham and Downy Ultra Blue. Um, L After does fantastic laundry brands. They're not headache inducing. They're not sharp to my nose. They are very beautiful, very... Um, just just gorgeous she just does laundry very well and i didn't even know what gingham was when i ordered this got a scent shot hoarded it until i could get a couple tart bags um one of my favorites this is cheshire cat blackberry jam butter cookies and pumpkin pecan waffles this one is i'd say probably one of my top from her um, it's very basic, but it's very, very well done and very good. You get both of those equal, and I love this one. I just melted it the other day, and I remember why I love this so much. And last but not least, guys, is Saddest House. Campfire Marshmallow and Comfy Cozy. And her Comfy Cozy is her version of Patchouli Linen. Um, if anybody had ever told me that I would like anything with patchouli, I would say get out of town. No freaking way. This one is, you get the laundry, but you get that really rich marshmallow, so it just creams out that laundry, and it lasts, and it's just so beautiful, and I highly recommend this one. Even if you don't like laundry, give this one a shot. This one is amazing. I, that's the thing with Ella After. This is why I like her so much, that it's, it just, she just amazes me that um, there's stuff that I'm like, no way, no way I'm gonna like that. And I get it and I love it and it's a performer. So 
Anyways, guys, that is my top um, blends for 2020. Obviously, there is so many more I would love to include. I could have put my whole collection up here, um, but that would have took way too long. These are just the ones that I smelled and fell in love with and knew I needed more of. And, of course, there's more, um, but, again, I couldn't include the whole thing. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, I got a couple hauls coming um, whenever um the mail kind of gets going some so um if you guys have any videos uh, you want filmed or anything just uh leave a comment and thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one bye